Hello, welcome to INF 110. My name is Kelly Kleindorfer and I'll be your instructor for our course. I'm going to use this video to walk you through week one, walk you through some of the basics of our course so that you can get started uh, successfully in our online course. To begin, you'll see the announcements section. Each week I post announcements, typically with a video, so that you can see what's going on for the week. So make sure that you stop by, take a look at those, and watch that video. Now you're ready to head into the syllabus section and I have a PDF or a Word version of um, the syllabus that you can download, save it to your computer, as well as those INF 110 competencies. If you think you may transfer this course to a different institution, you'll want to make sure that you have both the syllabus and the competencies so that you can pass those on and get potential uh, credit for that. I'm going to pop open the syllabus real quick. There's just a couple things that I want to point out. On Mondays and Tuesdays, I have uh, evening office hours through Google Hangout. So add me to your Google Hangout list and you can message me through the chat app and I'm happy to answer any questions for you. I also have on-campus office hours on Wednesday and Thursday at the Ankeny office at the Ankeny campus and I have some appointment availability on Friday too. Um, Fridays are the most busy day teaching wise for me. I teach most of the day on Fridays at Urban Campus so if we can meet earlier in the week it's definitely preferred or as always please drop me an email too. The other thing I want to point out in the syllabus, please do take time to look through here and read all this, but I want to point out to you these drops for not attending and the quit attending drops as well. So make sure that you're familiar with them before uh, continuing on with the course so it doesn't become an issue. After visiting the syllabus section, again, you can pop into your instructor. You can find a little bit about me. There are my office hours, a phone number that you can text me at. Um, if you're going to call my office, I would suggest texting me at my cell phone instead because you're more likely to get me there than you will uh, on my office phone. I'm going to go come back to course content in just a second. I want to show you the tools. Uh, in addition to emailing through webmail, um, and if you do email me through webmail, make sure you include that you're in my INF 110 course in it. Um, but you can also send me an email through Blackboard as well. Finally, down here in the My Grades, you'll be able to see your scores as we complete work through it through our course. All right, next I'm going to pop into course content. Course content is where you're going to go each week to see what we've got going on. Uh, overview of the course, just a little note before we begin. And then I also have a discussion board down here where you can ask any questions about our course or any questions about anything at DMAC as well. To get into the week one folder, I'm going to click on week one. And we kick off the week with a discussion board on how to introduce your, or to introduce yourself. And I try to give you the grading as well so that you're familiar with how you get points. Um, we'll, there's some questions here for you to answer and then you'll want to find or take a digital picture of yourself and insert that picture into your posting. And make sure that you insert it and not attach it. If you attach it on accident, I'm going to put a little note in there so that you can revise, uh, go back and revise or edit your discussion board post and actually insert it into the discussion board post quick syllabus quiz and we're going to jump right into what is an information system this week. Think about all the ones that you interact with. We'll talk about some commonly confused information systems and I want you to take a day. I want to take mine on Tuesday and just keep track of all the information systems that you interact with. So if you get gas on Tuesday, uh, you're probably going to put your credit card into that machine that is an information system. So just keep track of that. Um, what did you do with those information systems? How did you access them? Some of them you might use the computer to access. And then uh, are there any of them that may be an information system but you're not sure? So take time and just take a day and see all those information systems that you interact with. Post those here and then come back and respond to two of your fellow colleagues by either um, answering any of their questions or uh, if you think of some additional ways that you can contribute to their discussion board post. Again, I'll post my list on Wednesday. Next, we'll look at the components of an information system, some of the challenges, the difference of data versus information. And then finally, we'll have an essay test. Um, four questions total. You have one hour to take this test. And this is um, not meant to trick you up or anything like this. Uh, if you've covered the course material, you'll find the essay test extremely easy. Um, but it, uh, what I want you to do is put the responses in your own words. So don't copy and paste from any of the resources, but rather put them inside of your own words to show me that you understood the materials that we've talked about. We have a lot of things that we're going to look at as we move forward, so uh, make sure that you're keeping up on the coursework. Visit it multiple times throughout the week, 
and make sure that you are uh, going back and visiting those discussion boards and those blogs and contributing to your classmates. The more discussion, the better. It makes the course a lot more fun and interesting, not just for you, but for me too. And I'm always loving all the cool new things that you guys share in our course, and I look forward to uh, seeing your contributions. The final component we have this week is a journal. I want to know about you. I want to know why you're taking this class. This is actually one of the biggest classes that I've had in, I think, the past at least the past year, maybe the past two years. So I'm really excited about our course. I'm really looking forward to it, but I want to know why you're here. What program are you working towards? Uh, what grade do you want to earn? How are you going to work, earn that grade? Uh, when, are, when do you plan to work on this course? Uh, if I find that a lot of people are going to be working on the course on Thursdays, I may move my office hours to Thursdays. So please let me know what times you're going to work on the course. Finally, I want to know about you. What makes you unique and who do you, what do you do outside of class? Who uses your time? Do you have kids or dogs or pets or um, a, a social group that you like to hang out with? Please share, share a little bit about yourself so that I can start recognizing you and I get to know you a little bit better. And I will sprinkle my tidbits of myself in throughout the course as well. So to participate in that journal, all you have to do is click on the About You and you can type the information in right there. So that's what we have going on for week one. All these materials in week one are due on Wednesday night, so the uh, 17th of January. And on the next morning, on the 18th, that Thursday morning, week two will open up. Um, as always, if you have any questions, please drop me an email, drop me a text, just let me know. If you drop me a text again, make sure that you let me know which um, class that you're in so I can make sure that I respond appropriately. And I look forward to a fantastic semester. I look forward to working with you and I, um, I hope you have a successful first week. Again, reach out if you need anything. Look forward to working with you and I'll see you online.